my name is Aditi Sooth and I teach A-level maths in Hastings College. In Hastings, we do Edexcel Mathematics. It's a linear course. Linear course is actually a two years course and over the period of two years course, we cover variety of uh, topics in A-level maths. So in A-level maths, we have uh, pure mathematics and applied mathematics. In pure mathematics, we start covering from GCSE topics, which are the transition units from GCSE to mathematics. And these uh, cover your indices and thirds, quadratic inequalities, straight lines, circles. So once we have done these GCSE units, then we move to actual A-level mathematics, in which we cover our uh, algebraic division. Then we have uh, trigonometry, how to solve trigonometric equations, and then we have calculus so calculus is actually a new topic in a level maths because this is the first time you will uh, see this type of uh, topic and how to solve actually the calculus equation so we have two parts in calculus differentiation and integration and after that we have uh, vectors vectors again you have done in GCSE but here we will study the extension of vectors and then we have the last topic in pure mathematics first year which is exponential and logarithmic function so this topic is again a new topic in uh, your a level mass you have not done this topic in GCSE when we will start uh, studying your applied mathematics in first year so in applied mathematics we have two parts we have statistics and mechanics so in statistics some of the topics are again from GCSC such as uh, your mean mode median quartile ranges and then we have histograms but then we have two chapters which you have not done in GCSE for example binomial distribution and hypothesis testing so these are uh, brand new topics in the GC, uh, a level uh, mathematics so that covers your statistics in uh, mechanics we start with some of the topics from physics such as velocity time graphs displacement time graphs so these are the topics of kinematics once we have done these in applied mechanics then we cover moments and uh, we also cover uh, resolving the vectors and we will extend these in second year so i'll come to the second year mathematics because as i said it is a two years course so what we'll cover in second year some of the topics again will be the extension of first year topics for example trigonometry and binomial uh, expansion and some of the topics will be new topics for example partial fractions and then we will have parametric equations and uh, calculus will be now complex calculation so calculus differentiation integration what we study in first year that is very simple stuff but when we start doing calculus in second year then we have more complex uh, topics and calculations so after that we have numerical methods so some of the numerical methods you have done in GCSE for example iterative method so that you cover in GCSE but newton Raphson method you have not done in GCSE so that will be the new part in your a level maths and then we have absolute functions again a totally new topic in a level maths after finishing their a level maths they mostly uh, go to the university to do courses like science degrees or math degrees or either they can go to banking or retail uh, degrees so when i'm saying science degrees it can be engineering or it can be physics degree it can be chemistry degree because maths is uh, applied everywhere in science so they can they have actually a broad range of uh, choices after a level maths if they want to go to university Thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact us and looking forward to see you soon.